whatever. And um, yeah, I did like 12 years. I was like, 12 years? Like, what you mean 12, 12 whole years, like consecutive, like all in one setting years? What's up? Back kicking it with Momo. Hey y'all, what's good? What is good? How y'all doing today? Today is definitely Wednesday. Tomorrow is the fourth, y'all. So y'all know the fireworks is going to be popping. But if you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you know because you're gonna like it over here and if you are not new then you already know what time it is and yes we back with a video and yes y'all see the title of the video definitely a story time definitely definitely i think i'm gonna start dropping like one story time a week because i be having heck of stories like of course like everybody got stuff that didn't happen in your life that some stuff like it just be like i tell somebody so i feel like i've been through a lot of stuff and I'm just going to start dropping some tea. I'm going to just not leave names. I'm not going to put no names in here. But baby, I'm going to start dropping. <laughs> and I think like what I'm going to do, because I don't want to just make it seem like I'm just exposing people or just putting business out there. But what I am going to do is just make it like this is my experience. And what I learned from these experiences, because I feel like we all go through stuff. And if you smart, then you learn stuff, right? Like you don't just go through stuff and just simply not learn anything i got a cute outfit on today y'all look i look cute and stuff but i don't know this top is a little loose so it's giving it's cute it's giving that the top is cute it's cute the story time let me hurry up because i do have to go to work all right so this story is because i've been seeing on tiktok i love tiktok y'all but i've been seeing on tiktok a lot of stories like women are telling stories about men that they have dated that they felt like was dl or they found out that they was dl and no shade i don't have nothing against like gay people but i do not like dl men like they are the worst they are so scum it don't even be making no sense the amount of lies that it takes to live like a whole separate life baby outside of your life is crazy so <laughs> I can't but this is like a story from it's not a recent story and um i'm gonna just tell y'all what happened so anyways i live in texas so texas is very it's like a melting like you get a mixture literally of everybody so you will get like people from all over the world and so when i be meeting dudes i always meet dudes that don't be from texas like they be like oh i'm from here you know what i'm saying like they just don't be from texas for me i just don't like Texas dudes for real they just be I don't know I just don't like them I ain't gonna stunt it's just I just don't like them but anyways this dude I had met like in my area at a store one day and he was like uh he was real cool like he was really trying like extra extra hard like to get my attention in the store so and he was dark skin he was cute actually very cute um but anyways i ended up giving him my number and come to find out he had lived like he lived close so he's like uh i had been like a couple of days you know we had talked on the phone or whatever we didn't meet up but we had talked on the phone so like the first day that we had talked on the phone he was telling me about like you know where he stay and how his apartments are you know what i'm saying that's how we basically figured out that we live close by each other and he was telling me you know like yeah i like my apartments but it just be a whole bunch of gay dudes in these apartments. And so I'm like, you know, I heard it, but like, I don't know what I was supposed to respond to that. So I'm just like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. So that was that. And then so another conversation on a different day, he was saying like his neighbor upstairs is a gay dude or whatever. He was like, man, I be seeing blood and you know what I'm saying? Like, I be seeing him. He be saying hi to me or whatever. I ain't got nothing against no gay dudes. But he be having different dudes in and out the house at night. And I was like, oh. So, you know, now, of course, because women, you know, we're just nosy by nature. I'm like, what you mean? He be having dudes in and out the house. He like, yeah, they just be coming out, in and out, all types of night. I'm like, oh, okay. And so I'm like, you know, like, what time? He like, like, shoot, I done seen this light-skinned dude with some hazel eyes that had went up there. It was like 2 in the morning. So mind you, 2 in the morning, it's still dark outside. How do you know he had hazel eyes? I was I, like, I was like, huh? Anyway, 
And then why are you looking at her? Like, I don't know, just weird. So anyway, after that, I think I had finally like went to his apartment. And so when I got there, it was like nothing in the apartment. Like his room was set up, but he literally like didn't have nothing in the living room. Like no, no nothing. So now I'm asking questions like, did you just move here? Like, you know, cause I don't remember if I caught that in the conversation. Like, did he just move here? I don't know. So um, he like, yeah, you know, I had just got out of jail. So I was like, <laughs> like, I don't know. And this is no shade. I feel like people do make mistakes, but I just don't like dudes that have been in that jail. I just don't. For me, it just, especially depending on the amount of time that you've been in jail, I feel like then you technically could have some gay stuff going on. Because I just, if men cheat outside of jail, you know what I'm saying? Like consistently cheating, I don't see them holding it in jail. Like, I just don't. I just feel like, nah, bro. So anyway, I'm like, jail? He's like, yeah, I just moved from... You know, he did tell me that he was from Louisiana. I remember that. And he was like, yeah, I had moved from Louisiana. I moved out here. You know, my daughter, my baby mama stay out here or whatever. And, um, yeah, I did, like, 12 years. I was like, 12 years? Like, what you mean 12? 12 whole years, like, consecutive, like, all in one state? Like, yeah. So, but anyway, he had a job and stuff. I don't know. He was working at some little warehouse or something. And um, he did have a job. So, it wasn't like he was, like, a bum. He had a job, he had like a little Maxima or whatever. And um, yeah, so anyway, I didn't think like too hard into it. I'm just like, okay, you know, whatever. He then did some time, but I mean, my intentions wasn't to sleep with him, no way, especially after knowing that. But uh, yeah, that was weird. So anyways, that was one day. And so that was the day that I had finally like came out there. He like, yeah, you know, he went to jail or whatever. So I went to the bathroom and um, I went to the bathroom and it was like baby wipes in the bathroom. Like, you know, females, I know females like be having wipes. Like, but I don't know. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was something in my spirit that was like, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like the baby wipes was giving, it was giving sis. It was giving sis. It was giving either a girl been here or something just not right. So I just let the baby wipes go by. I was like, okay. So that was strike one was that you keep talking about this gay dude that live over here. And two was the hazel eyes. No, that was all one. The, the, he keep talking about the gay dude over there. And then the dude he said he's seen that went up there at two in the morning with hazel eyes through me. Cause I'm like, okay, you don't even see this man eyes at two o'clock in the morning. Cause it's dark outside. So what are you talking about? And the fact that you was looking so hard and that was the only feature that you could throw out there was weird. Cause usually niggas don't, like, oh, the nigga with the red shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no dude addressing another dude. Like, oh, with the hazel eyes. Like, huh? I was just like, okay. <laughs> so that was that. And then now with the baby wipes, right? So now I'm like, okay. So now, like, my gaydar is on a thousand. Because now I'm like, okay, something is definitely, something's not right here. And then you said you did 12 years. Like, 12 years straight through in jail. So I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And he might have just been gay for the stay. Who knows? But I just don't like that. And I don't like dudes that then did all that time in jail. Like, I don't even want you if you've done a year in jail. So if you did 12 years, I show I'm cool. I'm cool. So yeah, that was that. So then that day, I think the baby wipes had me, just threw me. I chilled for a little bit and I got on up out of there. Because it wasn't nothing in an apartment anyway. Like, he literally didn't have nothing in the living room at all. But, like, a Wi-Fi box. And then his room was set up. But even the room set up was, like, you could tell when a dude just got out of jail. Like, all his shoes and stuff is, like, like, <laughs> they, like, by the door. Like, you done literally put all your shoes. Like, you got a whole closet. But all your shoes are over here by the door. I just never understood that with dudes. Like, use the closet, bro. Like, I do not want to be walking past a thousand shoes to get anywhere in your apartment like that's annoying to me i don't know if you're showing them out like showing them off or whatever but put them up like that was the but it was weird so anyways that and then um what else was weird in there and then like he had letters like a whole bunch of letters like from dudes in jail so that was another thing too because when he like went in his closet for something like he had like a box a shoe box and he had like took the shoe box out and he was getting something out the shoe box and then i was like a whole bunch of letters in there so i'm like oh that's a lot of letters i was like you like the right he like uh you know i'll be writing my homeboys in jail and i was like huh 
I was like, y'all, you, how long you been out? Cause it was a lot of letters. So now I'm like, okay. So now we got baby wipes. We got, you talking about the dude upstairs, the hazel eyes. Um, you did 12 years. Now you writing letters. So I don't know. I just feel like when you write a letter, but then again, I don't know. Cause Chicago dudes, like they be down for their homeboys too. And they write letters to their homeboys. Or they get girls to write letters. I just feel like it was weird. I don't care. I just, and, and I could be absolutely wrong, but the letters was just through me. It threw me and the baby wipes for sure. Through me. Cause like, ugh, I know you didn't have baby wipes in jail. So like, I'm just, it was weird. It was weird. So that was that. So then this was like, after that day and the baby wipes and the letter conversation, I was like, okay, yeah, let me, let me go ahead it. So then, I think one night, it was like a real late night. I had went to like the store and he was at the store. And mind you, he had lived close to me. So he was like, hey, you wanna come by or whatever? So I'm like, yeah, cool, you know, let's let's hang out. You know, we had a little drink, whatever. Um, and again, he talking about the neighbor. So now he like, man, this dude be having so me, like out of nowhere. So we talking about something totally different. We're watching TV. And then again, you bring up this gay dude that live upstairs. So now I'm just irritated. Cause now I'm like, okay, I don't know. Like, why you keep asking about this dude? Or why you keep telling me stuff about this dude that's gay? Why are you even paying attention to who he bring in and out his house? And then, so now here talk, and then like a full-blown conversation. So I started to sit there and listen. And then I start asking questions because it was getting irritating. So he was telling me like the dude would be having people at his house. He was like, man, last night, he must've had a few people up in there. He was like, uh, they was in there till about three in the morning. It was loud in there. They had the music on. I wonder what they was doing. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what you mean? You wonder. Like, nigga, boy, do, what do you mean you wonder? Because I just, I don't know. I don't know. It bothered because why are you worried about it? Why are we worried about what's going on in some man house if you not gay? Did you want to get invited to the party? Because I was confused. So now I'm just like, what? Like, and so now I'm like, what you mean you was wondering? Like, what you think they was doing? He was like, I don't know. It was just loud. I was like, oh, okay. So now I'm like, okay. So I'm trying to switch the subject to talk about something different. And we write back to the dude again. And he like, yeah, he drive his white car. His car kind of nice though. Like, it just seems like you wanted, like you wanted him. Like, I just, I was like, okay, so he must want him because he just keeps talking about him. Like you keep talking about him. And I do not want to sit here and talk about some gay dude. Like that you, it just, it was giving me sis. It was giving me sis. So that was that. And then, so that night, I think that after I had my drink or whatever, we had a little conversation and I did. So then the, like, I think it was like maybe a little while after that. Cause I hadn't talked to him after I just like, you know, kind of dismissed him for a little bit. And we ended up bumping into each other again. And so he like, yeah, you know, come by here. I still stay in the same spot. Won't, won't, won't. I'm like, cool. So I go by there and this time it was late again, but uh, we had chill. We went and had a drink like at a bar over here. And then uh, when we had got back to his house, like the gay dude was outside. Like he was outside and he must've been like walking somebody inside or whatever, but he was definitely outside. So now I get to see what the gay dude looked like. So the gay dude was like, uh, he was like brown skin or whatever. And, um, yeah, he definitely was walking somebody in the house, though. <laughs> he definitely, definitely was having motion up there. So I was like, ooh. And so when we got in the house or whatever, he like, see what I'm saying? They be outside. They be hanging out. It just seemed like he be out here living his best life. I was like, oh, not his best life. <laughs> but yeah, that was that. So then, okay, so where was I? Because uh, my phone was ringing and I think I low-key forgot. So yeah. No, he was saying he was living his best life. So I was like, he living his best life. Like, okay. So now I'm just like, all right, dude. So we had went to like two bars. And then one of his friends was like, hey, y'all come down here to this place. It's like a, it's called Temptations. If you go, if you from Arlington or live in Arlington, um, it's called Temptations and it's off of Cooper. So he like, yeah, come down here to Temptations. So we went down to Temptations, sat there for a little bit. We had a couple drinks and then we ended up going right back to his house after that. Uh huh. He was in the bathroom. And his phone was, like, sitting next to me. So, mind you, like, the whole time we was having drinks, I promise you, like, my brain was so, I was so in a space of, like, this is weird. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. 
And then, you know, like, in my head, I already, like, friend-zoned him. If he, whether he knew it or not, he was definitely friend-zoned because I was over it. And I just didn't understand why we kept talking about this gay dude. It was over. I was just getting on my nerves. But then, um, yeah, so anyway, the phone was sitting next to me. So when he was in the bathroom, the phone rang, and it was, like, a dude that looked gay, too. Like, it was the picture. You know how you could put the picture on the phone? So the profile picture was, like... It, it, the dude looked gay because it was a picture of him and he just looked gay to me. He was giving gay vibes or whatever. And so the phone just rang. He didn't come out the bathroom, but then the phone rang again and it was the same dude. Like he called at least two, three times while he was in the bathroom. So I was just looking at the phone. And then the after the third call, he had text the phone and he was like, I guess you busy and you ain't fucking with me tonight. And so now I'm like, and then the name on the phone was a dude's name. It wasn't even no chick. So, like, to me, that just sounds like, like, I don't think, I don't think homeboys talk like that, right? Like, maybe I probably have said that to my homegirl, but I've never, or to some dude I'm talking to, but I don't think dudes talk like that to other dudes. So, I'm just looking at the phone, like, and so after he done sent the message, baby, he kept calling. You hear me? So, by the time he got out the bathroom, at least he done called at least about seven times. And so the phone clearly was on silent, but it was like lighting up, you know, so, but it was sitting right next to me. So like, I just took a picture of what the dude, <laughs> cause I was like, at the time, like I had a couple gay friends and I don't know, like the world is so sketchy. I would occasionally send pictures to my gay friends. Like, do you, have you seen him on Jacked or have you seen him on social media period? Like doing stuff that's inappropriate because you just never know what dudes. If you think any, I feel like if you have a thought that he might be gay chances are yeah like i because i've just i don't know like you don't get that from every dude and like masculine straight men are not giving it you feel me so like yeah anyways but long story short when he came out the bathroom the dude had called a few times so he just picked up his phone you feel me and he walked to the kitchen so you know now i'm just like looking i'm being nosy because i'm like i wonder if he gonna call him back or if he just gone you know what i'm saying turn his phone off so he walked to the kitchen and he was on the phone in the kitchen. So he like, what's up? He, you know, he get on the phone. He like, what's up? What you doing? And so whatever dude was saying, he was like, man, you tripping. And I was like, huh? So now I'm in the, I'm in the room. Cause the room is really a one bedroom apartment. So from the room, you could see the kitchen. Like you got a direct shot from where I was sitting on the bed to the kitchen. So you just see him in the kitchen, like pacing back and forth. And he talking about, man, you tripping or whatever. Cause the TV and stuff is not on. So it wasn't like that. I, I heard everything. So I just didn't, I was just like, what? So anyways, he come back in there and um, he sit down and the phone rang again. And same picture popped up. So now I'm like, yeah, let me get my ass on up out of here. Cause like, yeah, I don't want to break up y'all home. That's not what I'm trying to do. But more importantly, like fool, if you're gay, just say that. Like I was so over it. I was so over it. But then also, so like, okay. So after that, like, um, I think we talked on the phone a couple times. So this is what really made me stop talking to him. So we, uh, like after that, I didn't know how to approach the whole situation. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna just ghost him. I'm good for that. If I'm over it, baby, I'm ghosting you. I, I feel like when you don't owe nobody no explanation, like, I don't care if we've been talking for two months, three months. If it's some stuff that's not serving me well or not doing me right, baby, I'm out. And I don't feel like I need to tell you because nine times out of 10, they know what they're doing. Like, people be knowing what they be doing. Like, you don't need to sit down and have no conversation about some shit you already know that you're doing that's out of line. Like, stop. So, yeah. Like, I hadn't talked to him for a minute. So, then, one day, he just popped up on my line. Like, 2 o'clock in the morning caught me while I was kicking it with somebody else, too, on top of that. So, I was really like, this is weird vibes. Like, what is going on? Or whatever. And so, I went. I walked outside, and I'm like, you know, what's up? Like, he like, hey, yeah, I need a ride. I got, my car got towed, all this other stuff. I'm like, well, I can't do that tonight or whatever. I was like, if you could, uh, you know, I could take you in the morning. So anyways, I had, um, yeah, so in the morning time, I had went and picked him up and took him to go get his car. He had gave me some gas money and I took him to go get his car. So when we was in the car, he was saying like, you know, my car got towed last night. You know what I'm saying? I was on one last night. I was doing me last night. And he was, you could tell like he was still kind of drunk from the previous night. He like, yeah, I was doing me last night. I was chilling. You know what I'm saying? I had went downtown, uh, Dallas. And I'm like, oh, okay, where you go downtown? He was like, oh, I was with my homeboy, you know, and his, uh, and his, and some, uh, his sister. 
and, a, and his sister girlfriend. We was like, you know, going, they had me in these gay clubs, but I was still turned. And I was like, what? So now, y'all cannot tell me that all the pieces aren't fitting. Because now I'm just like, okay. Now it was like my opportunity to just ask you. Because now I'm like, okay. Wipes. <laughs> 12 years. You keep talking about the gay dude. You talk about somebody got hazel eyes. You're living his best life. Now you in the gay club, like, with the gay people. So, like, yeah, all of that just wasn't adding up. So, now I'm like, what you mean he was downtown? I was like, in the gay, like, the gay part of downtown? He like, yeah, but we had a good time, no. Da, 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 da. And I'm like, okay, so you was with the sister and her girlfriend, your homeboy and you? And he was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then, baby, let's, <laughs> baby. <laughs> I bet it's the same friend that was calling the phone. Like, all of that just don't sound right to me. And I just, I think for me, I was just more mad because, like, if you, if that's the stuff you indulge in, you should just definitely let women know. Like, there's some women that will take that. I just, I'm not one. And I just felt some type of way. So, I had just asked him. I was like, man, are you gay? Like, have you ever been with a man? And he was like, nah, like, got offended and stuff. And I was like, well, I mean, have you, because I, I said, are you gay first? And he was like, nah, I ain't gay. And I was like, have you ever been with a man? And he was like, man, you know, when I, I had been locked up for 12 years, he was like, when I was locked up, I had a couple situation. And that was it. That was the end of me talking to him. I never talked to him again. I was so happy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you kind of, when you be talking to somebody, we're all grown. Sometimes there's, a, like, a sexual attraction, but it wasn't there for me. Like, and I couldn't figure it out. Like, you feel me? Like, because he would do, like, some gestures and stuff that was low-key weird. Like, I don't know. I think when we was talking one day and he was like, uh, he said, yeah, something. And he did, like, his, his wrist. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, like, back in the day, my daddy used to say, like, when he described gay boys he would say that we they weak wristed so i said when he hit me with the wrist i was just like mm. and then you know i was paying attention to stuff but i think the i think what really sparked it up was that the neighbor because i'm i've been around enough straight men to know that like that would never be a topic of conversation like we would never sit down and talk about some gay dude that lived by you definitely not gonna say that he got the hazel eyes like i just mm. but anyways yeah the couple situations, I listened to that conversation, took him to go get his car and blocked that number. Baby, I don't have time for that. Like, I don't. And then the fact that you even, just stop. If that's what you like, that's what you like. Nobody is mad about what you like. You know what I'm saying? I think it's just unfair when men get out here and be messing with women and using us as a cover up for stuff that you, you not. You know what I'm saying? This is really not what you into. So just go for what you know. Stop playing with people. I was like, ugh over it but yeah that's my story time of when i thought he was gay and i guess i was right i mean because he said he had a couple instances like a couple situations i didn't even want to elaborate on what the situations are because either whatever the situation was i'm good that's that's what i know that's my situation i'm done so <laughs> make sure you like comment and subscribe to this channel drop down in the comments if you've ever been in a situation ladies where you felt like somebody might have been you know what i'm saying if you dip it and dab it over there just stay over there stay over there you know what i'm saying or find somebody that's into that freaky kinky stuff i'm not baby i'm not i am for women that wants women only that's not my that's not my speed so Tell me if you've ever been into one of those situations. And uh, I want to know. So I had, do have a couple more stories. But this one was like one like that I was just like where he was honest. Like, you know, because dudes will get caught up and they not going to be honest about them being DL. Like, baby, they not going to say like, I was really surprised he said a couple situations. Like, and I think he wanted me to like ask him. Like, you know, what kind of situations, baby? I didn't even want to know. That's one situation two situation too much for me that's what i know so yeah i was over it but yeah drop down and tell me if you've had those situations drop down and tell me if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe until next time baby